I feel like all that's going on in these videos at the minute is me moaning about what I look like and I'm so sorry that I don't even want to get this off to a bad start but I just have to address it in case you guys don't know that I know that I look really bad like I would hate for you guys to think that I think I look cute right now I know I don't but looking cute at this stage of pregnancy for me it's not happening I had a couple of weeks where I feel like I was like you know getting my sparkle back and like putting on makeup and looking a little bit more present nah it's, it's over again we've got about seven weeks left and this is me this is literally me like I'm not putting makeup on I'm not making an effort and that is that so I am very aware that I don't look cute okay let's just let's just point that out right here right now welcome back welcome to vlogmas day i don't know what day this is i think it's day six um i thought i would do a little mini gift guide today i thought i'd really strip it back super simple super basic affordable accessible just like really like you know the only way i can describe it is simple items i feel like i've watched a lot of gift guides where people are like really branching out in their ideas which is great it is great but Christmas can be a really hard time, especially for people like financially and stuff. And I love watching gift guides. Like, don't get me wrong. I love seeing what people are buying people. I love like seeing other people's ideas. But sometimes I think we need just something that's just a little bit more like basic, accessible, affordable, stocking filler vibes, you know. Like, we don't need all these luxury items. But just, yeah, I just thought this would be a nice way of doing it. And it's just going to be a really chilled, laid back video. So if you can't actually be bothered to watch this video, I understand. That is fine. Just skip to the end and you'll be able to see a list of everything that I've spoken about in this video. Um, but yeah, mums, aunties, sisters, friends, cousins, daughters, anyone that likes girly things, this one could be for you. Also things for you to pop on your wish list if you've got people asking you what you want for Christmas and you are stuck. Hopefully this will just open up some ideas for you. Just some really simple, basic, but like nice ideas. So first up, obviously I am in my jammies and that is the first thing I would add to my gift guide. Pajamas, Primark, Sainsbury's, Tesco's, anywhere these days slays the pajamas. I was never a pajama girl before I was pregnant. I mean, I still don't sleep in them. I have to sleep butt naked. I, ca I can't sleep in pyjamas. Like, I get so frustrated. I can't move. I can't get comfy. I can't sleep in PJs. But having PJs, stunning. And I feel like nobody would dislike a pair of PJs for Christmas. We definitely say that supermarket PJs are super affordable at the minute. And they actually have so many options and so many different ranges. And they are constantly, constantly like rolling out new ones. So definitely a pair of PJs and you don't have to spend a lot. Just like these basic ones. These are from Primark. They're £15, which is obviously a little bit more pricey for Primark. But £15 for a nice pair of PJs, I don't think is too bad at all. PJs at the minute are just fantastic. Me and my sisters aren't really doing presents this year, I say we aren't, I've got them all presents, I can't help myself, but PJs would have been on their list, if we were doing like big Christmas like we usually would, like I would be getting them all a pair of PJs because they are honestly killing it at the minute and who doesn't want a pair of PJs? So next up on my gift guide is perfume, I don't know if everybody else loves perfume but I'm a major perfume girly, my perfume collection is a little bit ridiculous, I'm not gonna lie, that is one thing that I do go overboard on, you know some people like have like massive handbag collections or shoe collections or collect other things for me it's perfume i find it really hard to like depart from a perfume when it's run out so i try not to use it too much like i have got too many perfumes but i would never turn down another one perfume is always something that's on my christmas wish list and it's always something that i purchase for somebody else never a christmas that's gone by where i haven't bought somebody a perfume i think fragrances are the nicest things like who doesn't want to smell nice who doesn't want a nice perfume and again you don't have to have these luxurious high-end perfumes the perfume shop opened up in the westgate the other day and i was very kindly like invited down to pick fragrance out and the amount of affordable perfumes in there like you don't have to be spending a lot on perfume and also you don't have to get a designer perfume personally i'm not a fan of the zara perfumes just gonna put it out there but i know a lot of girly whirlies are and i know that a lot of them probably do smell nice i just haven't actually smelled all of them the ones i have smelled i just don't like but I think that's because I am really into my perfume so like for me a Zara perfume just it doesn't quite do it for me but other people love them and they're everywhere and I know that so many girls do and boys do love Zara perfume Tom loves Zara aftershave 
this isn't a gift guide for him this is a gift guide for her but just saying like tom for example loves the zara aftershave and they're like 10 pounds so you don't have to spend a lot but if you wanted to get something a little bit more like designer and luxury there are so many affordable ones on the perfume shop on look fantastic so many discount codes at this time of year as well if you're really struggling with knowing what to get for somebody like a mother-in-law or sister-in-law or cousin or you know a little extra thing for your friend perfume so next up i would say like body soaps shower gels that kind of thing these are the sorts of things that like back in the day i wouldn't have ever been disappointed don't get me wrong i'm grateful for everything but like i feel like as i've got older i really appreciate the soap the body wash the shower gel the shampoo and conditioner you know that sort of thing i don't know if it's because like the past three years obviously me and tom have had our own house and like you realize that these things run out fast and they're expensive especially like the nice ones that you would receive or buy at christmas like i'm used to my sanex like ph balanced sanex like that's all i really use but when it comes to christmas oh, do i appreciate the rituals bubble baths that i get oh my god yes and i know that there's so many again trending products at the minute for the shower like i feel like tiktok's just become one big like recommendation platform where we're just making products trend and everybody's just getting like all of these random things but it's so much fun like the sunday shower phones my sister got me one of those for christmas a couple of years ago and i did absolutely love it but i feel like they've really like blown up recently and every girl wants a sunday shower phone on on their side but it's like 15 pounds so it's like you wouldn't really tend to purchase that for yourself so it's a lovely thing to add to your christmas wish list but also to get for somebody else a yeah, bubble bath soap hand soap body lotion you know body scrubs that kind of thing um i'm very fortunate to live by vista village and at christmas those kinds of things are straight in my basket it's the only thing i really tend to buy from vista village especially at christmas the white company rituals that kind of thing straight in my basket go to your local garden center i feel like that's a really nice present as well something from the local garden center i've actually picked up quite a few soaps for people this year from there because they just look luxury like they're a completely different brand to anything you've ever seen before they're not usually something that people would buy you don't really go to the garden center and buy yourself a bar of soap but i picked up quite a few just to like add into like stockings and stuff because they're so affordable but they smell insane and they just look really nice next up honestly this is all just turned into like trending products but just look for trending products because i can guarantee you who you're buying for will have heard of this thing and just hasn't purchased it for themselves for example like eyelash serum um road lip balms any lip balms actually like the laneige lip balms like trending makeup products just go on tiktok and search up trending makeup products trending this trending that you will find so much stuff but like things for your face that are like trending moisturizers drunk elephant that kind of thing you know like the things that you see on tiktok a lot that you think no i'm not gonna buy that for myself add it to your wish list it's the perfect time to receive it or give it to somebody else everybody's like taste is different and style is different but you know that person like you might be struggling to know what to get them but you but you know them so once you can think of an idea for example the road lip balm think of one that they would like the flavor they would like the scent that they would like that kind of thing make it a little bit more personal easy present job done same with candles i feel like you can never have too many candles everyone loves a candle if you don't love a candle maybe you love a reed diffuser or maybe you love a electric diffuser with the oil in it there are so many things you can get to just fill up a stocking or like get someone a present that you don't have to spend a lot on primark candles b&m candles b&m diffusers supermarket candles all of that kind of thing again if you do want luxury the white company is lovely rituals is lovely i know i love a candle i have about 25 candles around just downstairs in my house but i would invite more in like i love candles and scents and i know that there's some really lovely brands out there as well like neon like neon is a lovely brand not something you typically buy yourself like i've never bought neon myself i've received neon and i've loved it um and they do like the essential oils you can put in the bath you can put on your pillow you can get like the sleep sprays there's so many lovely like brands that maybe you could look into rather than the actual individual product like if you know that you want something scented and homely and just like Go to John Lewis, go to Neon, go to the White Company, for example, and just have a little mooch around and just see what you can find. Another thing that I always think of that I think is such a great idea, and it's mainly what I get for my birthday now because in my job I'm so fortunate to just get sent so much PR and I honestly have so much stuff. Like, I'm so grateful for it and I do give a lot of it away, but trying to think of stuff for, like, my birthday and Christmas and stuff I find so difficult. 
so for me something that's definitely on my wish list and is on every wish list i ever have vouchers starbucks vouchers costa vouchers the one for all vouchers where you can literally shop at any shop anywhere restaurant vouchers your the person's favorite shop like if you know somebody loves something or or enjoys doing something like act an activity going shopping or going for dinner that kind of thing vouchers are ideal because it means one you don't have to think of a present to get them and like worry about getting it wrong or worry that they're not going to enjoy it but two it means that they've got the the trip out like the reason i love having a voucher is because i have an excuse to go shopping i have an excuse to go for dinner i have not that i need an excuse i do it fairly often but you know what i mean like it's a reason to go and do something and spend time with people and starbucks vouchers i get quite a few starbucks vouchers every year for my birthday and christmas and they are just the best like you don't realize how much you're going to love the voucher until you're in that moment using the voucher you're like this is fantastic like this is great what's better than a starbucks a free starbucks like starbucks vouchers costa vouchers one for all they are all such good ideas but yeah if you know the person really likes a certain shop then it'd be quite nice to get them like a personal one to that shop because it shows that you know them it shows that you've thought about it you know what i mean but it also means that they can go and pick what they want another thing i absolutely love is like anything personalized personalized jewelry personalized clothes personalized pjs but especially personalized jewelry i think it's just such a nice way to get someone something my mum bought me a bracelet for my birthday and it wasn't really personalized it was like about being a mum and it was like two little feet and it's on my bedside table and I just absolutely love it like that was my favorite gift like out of every single thing I received for my birthday that was my favorite because it was just like personal nice necklaces personalized bracelets like with their name on it or if they've got a child get their child's name on it or I don't know I just think it's really special it's something that people keep forever like jewelry is such a nice gift and again these days you don't have to spend a lot on it go on to etsy and just search up personalized jewelry or presents for a mum or personalized presents for your sister personalized presents for your best friend there are stacks and stacks and stacks of options these days and honestly i'm struggling i'm trying to buy myself a personalized necklace for the baby because i want to have a necklace with his name on it there are so many options I cannot physically choose. I don't really know how many I've done, but I think I'm going to leave this here because I have been filming for 20 minutes and I really don't want to overwhelm anyone or bore anyone. Like I said, I just want this to be really simple and basic, just like super simple things that you probably just let slip your mind that you're thinking, oh yeah, I could easily get that. Accessible, you could get it in two minutes if you needed to down at the local supermarket, order it on next day delivery, that kind of thing. So I'm not going to say anymore because I really don't want it to be too you know too much i said i will film a gift guide for him as well because i know us girlies struggle with the boyfriends luckily me and tom don't do christmas presents his birthday is two days before christmas and mine is a month before christmas so we do birthday and then we just scrap christmas presents because it's just too much and also especially this year we're having baby and we usually book a holiday for our christmas presents but i do know a lot of girlies struggle with the boyfriend's christmas presents so i'll definitely do a gift guide for him in the next few days or weeks or whatever but I hope you have enjoyed. I hope this has been helpful. Also, if you have any ideas or any other wish list things that you think people might want to know or you think might be helpful to people, leave them in the comments down below and we can start like a little recommendations in the comments. But also, if you can't even be bothered to watch this video and you have skipped to the end, just go on TikTok. Like, if you're still struggling with gift ideas, just go on TikTok and search up gift guide. There is hundreds on there now. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed and I'll see you tomorrow for another day of Vlogmas. Ciao.